Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven. Welcome to video number five in this new series where I'm building a login registration system with CodeIgniter. Um, what I want to start this video off by talking about first is uh, I want to show you how you can grab post data from the form or from the function from PHP, I guess, the same way that you would normally reference like uh, echo post. I'm sure, you're, I'm sure this looks familiar. Or you'd say in this case, grab email. Now this would actually work. If I uh, save this and run it, in the uh, okay that's only on login right so I'll click login and you'll see uh, and there you can see it's actually submitting the, the reason you couldn't see it before is because it's I'm echoing it out in the login validation function so now that we're actually in the login validation function you can see it um, there is a code igniter way to do it and that's what I want to show you how to do um, essentially it does the same thing only it's smarter than no oh, sorry it's smarter than regular, just grabbing it out of the post array um, because CodeIgniter handles it. Um, so you go this, input post, and then here's where you specify which, um, which key in the, in the post array that you're looking for. And what CodeIgniter will actually do with this is it, uh, I believe it escapes values if you're working inside of a database and things like that. So you can, uh, it's the same as the set message, but set message function in the, with the form validation, um, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with that one. I might show you in another video. But uh, in, in this case, essentially all it does is it just grabs that post data out of this array. Um, and so if I refresh this, you can see it, it just does the same thing twice. Um, but for further use, it, as far as this video, this series is, is concerned, um, I'll be using the post method, uh, the code igniter way of doing it. And that's extremely handy and extremely important in what I'm talking about next, which is custom callbacks in, form, in the form validation library. Um, okay, so how these work is essentially what you do is you write callback underscore and then the name of the of the new callback that you're actually going to write. So in this case, we're going to say check underscore email, or we'll say actually validate credentials. Um, now what this does is this will actually tell CodeIgniter to look for in the same controller for another function uh, or method uh, called exactly what this is, right? So validate credentials is what it's going to look for. Um, now I'm not going to actually send or receive any variables to this um, to this function because I can just grab them straight from the post array using that way I just showed you. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to reference a, I guess the first thing I want to do is load a model, which I'm not actually going to show you how to create this time. Uh, this load model, we'll call this model underscore users. We'll say if Um, this model underscore users uh, can log in is what we'll call the function. So this should make sense. If you can log in, then return true. Else, we want to this form validation set message of validate credentials to we'll say incorrect of username slash password and then we'll return false. And then we'll actually end this else statement. Cool. Um, now let me explain this a little bit. Basically, um, this function will will be a, 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 a method in this model that we're about to create called model users, probably in the, ne in the next video. 
which will just evaluate if you can log in with the current credentials. It'll take the username, or I mean the email address, and the password and check the database to see if there's anywhere where the username and password are what the are what the user entered. Now if and if if it does find a row, then it'll return true, else it'll return false, which means this if statement will either validate to be true or false depending on what that function returns. Um, now if it returns true, then this function, this, the val validate credentials method is also going to return true. Um, in, which, in which case if it returns true, the form validation library will take that and it'll say, okay, so if this function returns true, that means that there isn't an error. That means that um, the validation has been completed and there wasn't an error thrown. However, if the validate credentials function, because it's a callback, if it returns false, it will know that there's an error and it'll try and it'll actually um, create an error the same way that like say the required field um, throws back an error. It will uh, it, it'll return an error of whatever the message is for that function which is why we're setting the message of validate credentials to incorrect username password so that it has a message. Um, and I'll just show you how that works really quick. Um, I guess I can actually show you. Um, I'm going to end this video. In the, in the next video, I'm actually going to create this can login function really quick, and then I'll show you how this whole thing works. Um, I just want to keep the video links a little bit shorter. Hope you understand. Anyway, um, clean this up a little bit, and thanks for watching. See you next video.